Hey, what's going on guys? This is Paul from Prior Witness. Today I got another tutorial for you. Uh, this time we're going to be combining two amps and two cabinets in the Headrush MX-5. I'm going to show you a, a couple different ways to do that. In front of you, you will see there is a straightforward line of, of, uh, of pluses here that signify you know, where we want to put stuff in our signal chain. Um, but there's something here too that I wanted to point out here. And that is this little four dot thingy right there. If you click on that, you'll notice your series of effects and, and your chain, whatever you want to call that, changes a little bit, right? You got you got some options here. And I've I've seen some people out there say, why in the heck would you want to do that? Well, I'm gonna show you an example of how you would implement one of those. Um, this one right before you would be a, a, a different route, uh, but that's not the one we're gonna take. Instead, I'm gonna show you Two different ways to combine amps and cabs in one rig utilizing the straight method and then we're also going to show you how to do it using this way as well which i prefer this way where the signal chain splits and you've got some options here and for me i love options and i love flexibility and i think this really gets it done when you want to combine two amps but anyways i'm going to show you that and to give you a little context uh because it's my channel uh, and I like hard rock and metal music and, and grunge and all that stuff from the 90s and, and uh, Metallica and all that stuff. Uh, well, that's, that's the tones you're going to be hearing. So uh, if you came here looking for John Mayer tones or, or something from Ed Sheeran, um, I, this should apply to you. Uh, I'm not telling you to go away, but I am telling you that uh, the tones that you're going to hear are not exactly congruent uh, to those artists. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get started. So first, there's really no rhyme or reason I'm going to select one of these pluses here in the middle, but it's just, again, in case we're making a rig that's going to add some modulation or maybe you're going to put an overdrive in front of it, you always want to put your amp uh, somewhere in the middle of the chain here. So that's, that's why we're doing that. And then the other thing I want to show you is the cab is going to go at the very, very end because uh, that's where we want that too. Now some will tell you we can put modulation effects and all that stuff after the cab. Look, there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's just the way we're going to set this particular example up. All right, let's go ahead and click on this little plus, right, plus guy right here. Now the amps we're going to choose for this scenario here, we're going to be selecting a Mark II C+. And the reason why we're doing that is because the Mark VII just came out and it blew my mind. And so we're going to select it because reasons. Now, the amp, how it sounds right out of the box, when you pull it in, it's gonna combine it with this JC Roland 2x12 cab, which makes no sense. Uh, it's gonna sound like this. So that kind of sounds okay on its own, but when you're in a mix, I'm telling you, there's a lot of mids that are gonna get drowned out on that thing. Uh, so we're gonna change a few things. Again, so for this first example, we're not we're not gonna be tweaking the chain or anything. We're just gonna set this up so that it's two amps here and then two cabs here. And you're gonna see, there's gonna be a big difference in how that sounds when you do it this way compared to when you're gonna split it yourself. We'll, we'll see here in a second as the video unfolds. So you're going to click on this uh, times two button right here. You want to make sure your amp is selected. We'll just You can just select it just to make sure it is selected and then hit that little X2. Okay, so now there's two amps here, right? I'll click on the one here. Now for this preset, I already have one selected. Uh, that I came up with while I was tinkering around with this before I started this video, but just real quick so you can get a glimpse as to what my settings are here. Um, you've got the drive at 40, master volume at 50, presence at 49, treble is at 67, mids are down to 29, bass is at 20, bright is off, volume is 50. You know, one of the things that's always helped me as we're going through this, whenever you're looking up an amp and you're trying to dial in the tone, it's not a bad idea, believe it or not. The Head Rush, I think, does a really good job of mimicking these amps to where you can go out and, and find these uh, 
the manuals to the amps or go find some other YouTube videos specifically to those amps and see what, what their settings are. And, you know, tinker around with those settings on here. You'll get a tone that's pretty darn close. All right, so now we're going to select the other amp. We're going to select a completely different amp for this one, okay? Um, for this particular example, we're going to be selecting the Bogner. Now, the Bogner has a few choices. You've got a red, blue, and green. Well, because this is a metal, we're going red. Now, I already have a preset selected for this. Instead of tinkering with the settings in front of you, I'm just going to select my my preset. And these are my settings on the Bogner. I've got gain at 40 Volumes at 50, presence down to 30, treble, I've dialed that down to 34, mids are bumped up to 71, and the bass is at 63, boost is at 88, and bright is off. Um, now the reason why I have some of these settings the way they are on this amp is because to my ears, to my taste, I love the Mark IIc Plus, I love how it sounds, but on the head rush, it's very, very scooped. It's very, very scooped. So I needed to add some mids there, and I needed to find another amp that might complement that to bring it up and still sound natural. To my ears, this Bogner sounded really nice. Um, some other amps I've experimented with that also sound pretty good, I think. Uh, we're just not doing it for this video. Like the 5150 doesn't sound too bad. Uh, some of those Marshall amps are pretty good, um, as well as um, the Dual Rectifier actually sounded pretty good paired up with it too. But in that case, I almost lost too many mids at that point, so... But that's what we're doing here. So now we're going to move to the cab. So I'm going to select that. We're also going to do two cabs. When you're in a, st a studio environment, typically they will do two cabs at once. So here we're going to select this cab here first. Then we're going to click on 4x12 green 20 watt here. Back up. Then we're going to do this cab. We're going to select, let's do a vintage 30. So now we got these two caps set up. Now take note, the axis is on off and on. You got a mic type of dynamic 57. On here, you got a ribbon 12. Now you can tinker around with these mics, so check it out. This is what it's going to sound like just with these two here. <laughs> Now let's mess with these uh, cabs a little bit. So if we double click on the one up top, let's change out the mic type. You'll hear some differences here. We'll switch to a 421, it's off axis. Then on this black one down here, we're gonna do on the Vintage 30 cab. We'll keep it on the SM57, let's do it off, off axis. You'll notice a difference in sound. <laughs> So now you got those two sounds. So there you go. Now you have two amps and you got two cabs in a straight line. Now I'm going to show you another way to do this. You can split this signal out a much different way. Uh, so here we're going to just click anywhere in here and we're going to change the signal path a little bit. Now we've got a completely split. I'm going to delete some of these and we're going to move this cab to the end. All right, now we're going to do something a little bit different. Now that this is split, we're going to have a little bit more options here as to how we mix these two cabinets and we, how we mix these two amps. So I'm going to bring the Bogner amp back up. I'm going to select RB01B red. I'm going to get rid of this cabinet here. Next, we're going to add some EQ to the Mark IIc Plus. Because the Mark IIc Plus on the head rush doesn't have the built-in EQ that the actual amp does. So we're going to add that to this. Now there's two EQs that you can select here. You've got a graphic, you've got a parametric. Now the graphic EQ is a little funky in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of it. But hey, to each their own. We're going to select the parametric EQ to try and emulate uh, the Mesa EQ the best we can. Now I already have a preset set up for this just to buy us a little bit of time here. And um, I'll double click in here so you can get a glimpse of it. I've selected the frequencies that correspond with that. So you've got the 80 hertz, you've got the 750, you've got the 22, um, and then you've also got the 66. There is a fifth band for 220, uh, but for my purposes, the 220 is generally at zero anyway. So we left that out, we only got the four 
uh, EQs there. And as you can see my settings, we've got the frequency of 80. It's boosted by 5.2 dB. You've got the 750 down by 5 dB. Uh, on the 2.3 dB, you've got the 22 kilohertz. And then finally, you've got the 66 uh, kilohertz as well, uh, boosted by about 3.5 dB. So if you're curious there. But, but take note, in the previous chain, we couldn't add that EQ just to that amp. But now because we've got them split, now we can. By doing so, we can also mess with the mix. You'll notice there's this little mix tab. You can mix these two amps the way you want them to. Now you notice it's got a level here of neg 6 dB on level A and neg 6 dB on level B. Well, level A signifies that chain up top and level B signifies the chain on the bottom. Take note of that. See, so signal A is going to be the Mark IIc plus plus the parametric EQ. Level B is going to be the Bogner. We're not going to have any EQ on that one, but we are going to mess with the mix. So up on the mix, we're going to add a little bit more Mark IIc plus than we do on the Bogner. So here, we're going to move the level up to around neg 3 dB. And on the Bogner, we're going to boost it up just a little bit to neg 4 dB just to mix them. Now, if you want to go stereo out, that's why you have panning here. But for this purpose, for this tutorial, we're just going to do mono. So we're going to leave these at zero. So these are all filtering in together into this one cab. Now, again, we're going to make this so that it's, it's a dual cab. So click on the cab, do times two. Now we've got two cabs. We're going to do 4x12 green, 25 watt. My type is sitting at dynamic 421. Axis can either be off or on. It just really depends on your ears, what you want to do. But you always want to try and find an amp that's congruent with that cab typically. So, you know, like with a Mesa cab, usually that goes with a, a, uh, a cab type with vintage 30s in it. So we're going to look for that one. That's the 4x12 Classic 30 watt. Bonner, you, you know, you can mix some greenbacks with that one. Uh, or you can do some vintage 65s. It just depends on your taste. Um, we're going with the greenbacks for this tutorial. So right now, both mic types are on the Dynamic 421. Uh, for the Vintage 30, we're going to switch back to a Dynamic 57 that's emulating the SM57. Axis is going to be off. We don't want it pointed directly at the cone there. Those tend to get really hot. Here we got the Dynamic 421. Let's switch this to a ribbon mic let's, or a condenser mic. Let's go to the Newman 87 or the Condenser 87 is what it's called on here. Axe is going to be on. All right, now let's see what this sounds like. And there you go. So I just showed you how to combine amps and cabs in two different series. The mixes can be a little bit different. Uh, that's And by the way, this is going straight to my interface. There's no post-processing, no nothing. What you hear is, is what you get. I'm not adding any EQ, any compression, anything like that. So I hope you learned something. And uh, with that, take it easy, rock on, and have a great rest of your day.